the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone and welcome back to our Gmail training. In this lesson, we're going to cover two features of Gmail that can greatly increase your productivity. Let's jump straight in. We've been working our way through the settings, so let's start where we left off by clicking on the settings gear in the top right corner and then select see all settings and then scroll down to stars. Okay, now that we see the stars settings, what are these for? Think of stars like a colorful sticky tag that you use on paper. You know the ones where you mark places where signatures are needed or maybe use it to mark specific pages of a book to reference later? Stars are like that, but for your email. By default, you will have the yellow star set as in use and the other set are set to not in use. So to add stars for you to use, drag and drop them up in the in use section. Personally, I like to use one colored star, the explanation point, and then the question mark. Again, these stars are like colorful sticky tags that you use on paper. So I use the explanation point to mark emails that are urgent. And I use the question mark on emails that I am waiting on. Maybe it's a response or maybe I'm waiting on something else before I can respond and I use one colorful star of my choice for a general, hey, come back and look at this email sort of tag. Another option is using different colored stars and coming up with your own personal system of actions associated with those stars. All starred emails are pulled together in one location over here. Now, as with colorful sticky tags on paper, do you leave those sticky tags there once you've maybe received the signature? Probably not. And the same is true with stars. The purpose is to remove them once the action is completed. Okay, so moving through these settings, you can enable keyboard shortcuts. You can change those buttons such as archive to be text instead of icons if you prefer. We're going to talk about signatures and vacation responder in the next lesson, so let's jump to indicators. Indicators help you discern which emails were sent to you or to you plus others, especially for those of you working on a team or if you frequently are copied in on emails that don't always require action, you definitely need this. That double arrow indicates emails that are sent to you and only you. If you find yourself ignoring these arrows, come back in here and turn it off. So let's scroll to the bottom and click save and let's look at these in action. First, notice the indicators. Most of these were sent to only me and one is a group email. For stars, you can click on the blank star of an email to rotate through the stars that you've chosen. Notice how once you rotate through all of these stars, it brings it back to a blank star. So that's how you would remove a star. Okay, now this is fun. I'm gonna jump over to another category and star this email. I'm gonna come back to my primary inbox and look, it's there. This trick is great when I want an email to be front and center. When I'm done with it, I can unstar it and watch. It disappears from my primary inbox, reducing the clutter so that I can focus. So it lives back in the category where it was. It also has a label, so I can go find that email there as well, or I could search if I wanted to. And remember, for quick access to all starred emails, which again are like your emails, to-do list, or action items, click on start. Notice I only have a manageable amount at the moment, so get in the habit of unstarring when you're done with that email. Fantastic. Hopefully you'll see an increase in productivity with Gmail using these stars and watching for those indicators. In our next lesson, as I mentioned, we're going to look at signatures and vacation responders. See you there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.